We got a box. Uh, this here is from Jacob. So not J2H Jacob. Uh, Jacob is actually friends with me on Instagram. Uh, reached out. I bought from him before. If you guys remember a video where I had like the um, James Bond 4K set and Mission Impossible 4K set and some steelbooks like the Bumblebee steelbook, Scary Stories steelbook. Um, he was downsizing his collection and I bought from him. However, he reached out to me recently. He has some stuff going on. Um, him and I believe it's his wife are getting ready to, uh, to embark in a new journey. So he is basically downsizing his collection to, to nothing. He's keeping a very small amount of stuff. So he reached out to me. I got first dibs on um, what he had available. And there's some amazing stuff in here. I will say there's a lot of Disney stuff. I believe everything in here except for one title is a 4K steelbook, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I did pay up. I spent quite a bit of money on what's in this box. Um, I don't recall. It was definitely a few hundred dollars. Um, so it's not like I got this for, you know, 20 bucks. I definitely paid up. Uh, Jacob was more than fair on the pricing of the, the stuff in this box. We're going to dive right in. I've had this box for quite a while. I did open it to make sure everything was good. Um, but we're going to dive in. And I have a note here from Jacob. It says, Rick, thanks for taking part of my collection off my hands for me. It'll serve your collection far better than mine. I threw in a few digital codes and a gift steelbook at the bottom. Uh, the dent is a bummer, but hopefully not an ultimate deterrent for you. Enjoy Jacob. So thank you to Jacob. I will keep that note, obviously. Um, I have to be careful. I do see some, some digitals here. We got It, Inception, and Halloween, Blu-ray and Halloween 4K. So very cool. I will try to uh, use those or have my hookup sell those for me. And it looks like um, they individually... Uh, Jacob individually bubble wrapped every title, which is amazing. Um, it definitely makes things uh, smoother in travel. So everything's taped up and individually. So we're going to dive. We're going to dive right in, guys. Let me try to find the non 4K steel book first. Okay. The non forte steel book is there. So it looks like we have a total of six, 14 movies. Um, the first movie actually went out of print. I don't know if you guys were aware of that, uh, but this is out of print. I actually want to try to watch this this holiday season if I can. Um, but it is Once Upon a Deadpool, and this is even bagged up, even though it's the standard Blu ray. Once Upon a Deadpool, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. If you yet to see this, I've obviously, I own both Deadpool movies on 4K, but wanted to add this to the collection as I've never seen the PG-13 version of it and just thought it would be something that I'd like to own uh, and check out. So Once Upon a Deadpool, next up. This is cool. Uh, Joe Martinez was really jealous of this one, if I remember correctly. And I know uh, Jacob said recently in uh, a podcast, blah, 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 the newest podcast episode, uh, as of the recording of this, it's December 7th when I'm recording, um, his favorite 4K, or one of his favorite 4Ks, and this is the Kong Skull Island 4K Steelbook which comes with the 3D Blu-ray as well, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. Yeah, so I believe Joe Martinez was pretty uh, jealous. Yep, Blu-ray, no. It does not have the 3D. I wonder if this is a different version. It has the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the DVD. So I wonder if he kept the 3D Blu-ray swapped it with the uh, DVD so still cool I wanted it on 4k uh, a lot of this stuff too I already own but I'm upgrading to the steelbook but the steelbook's beautiful I love the look of this steelbook 
Um, a lot of these will probably go into, um, what do I want to say? Probably my harder plastic um, steelbook protector. Did I not put that back in there right away? My harder plastic steelbook protectors definitely will have titles in here. Yeah, the DVD popped out. So, but yeah, so uh, we'll, a lot of these are upgrades, but I'll be selling my standard 4Ks, um, like I said, probably sometime after the holidays. So, next up here, I of course wanted to, uh, to upgrade this as well. I have the, the standard 4K of this, but it is Aladdin with the, uh, what's that, a debossed title there. And then my girl, Jasmine, on the front. It's a little blurry there. And then Genie on the back. So the 4K Signature Collection Steelbook. This is pretty cool. This is a Blu-ray. So this was the other Blu-ray in here um, that I didn't realize this was the UK Steelbook when I ordered it. But it's cool. I love this movie. I think this is actually an underrated Disney movie personally. But it is Chicken Little. And Chicken Little is embossed. And so is the name of the movie. There's the Chicken's Tukas. Uh, I own the standard version. So I'm upgrading to the Steelbook here. So that's very cool. Next up, huge fan of this movie. Now I own both of them on 4K Steelbooks. I had the second movie. And this is awesome too because of the embossing. It is Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph there is embossed. And there's like some debossing down there. So, and then the coin slots on the back. So Wreck-It Ralph on 4K Steelbook. Trying to do this in a particular order. This is cool. Love the artwork. Shape, they dropped the ball not embossing this or debossing this, I really think. But it is the Bohemian Rhapsody 4K Steelbook. That's absolutely beautiful. Love the artwork there. But like I said, Freddie Mercury should have been embossed or debossed. Uh, I think they dropped the ball there. But I still love the artwork on that. Next up, huge fan of this artwork. And I love the movie. A lot of these Steelbooks, knock on wood, because... One of them in particular uh, came back. Best Buy, for some reason, like a lot of their steelbooks were sold out. And in this holiday season, they brought a lot of them back. However, all except for one, I believe, weren't brought back. Um, so that's cool. This is one of the ones that sold out relatively quick. It was hard to come by. And that is Ford vs. Ferrari, the 4K steelbook. I love this movie. It was fantastic. 66 on the back for the year. So Ford vs. Ferrari was awesome. Christian Bale and um, Matt Damon. I really enjoyed this movie. I think it looked awesome on 4K. Next up is the only Disney Pixar film I haven't seen. Not including Soul because Soul is not available to watch here yet. Christmas Day it will be on Disney+. Plus. But this is the only one I haven't seen, and now I really have no excuse because now I own it on 4K, even though I owned it on Blu-ray. And that is A Bug's Life with the debossed um, font there on the title. I love the artwork on these steelbooks. I think it's so much fun. Um, next up, apparently this is a pretty rare and hard to come by 4K steelbook. Uh, we got some embossing, debossing. And that is The Incredibles, the 4K Steelbook. Um, these are debossed. And then that's debossed and embossed. So how many times have I said debossing and embossing in this video already? So The Incredibles 4K Steelbook. That is awesome. Next up, Inside Out. We've got the debossing on the title you got the characters there and on the back you got bing bong himself that's awesome this is cool this 
So there was one title that I really wanted and his wife didn't want to part with it. I was fine with that, but he had already priced out a group for me. So he took the price of that off plus the price of this off because this was one of the movies that was showing up at Best Buys again. So he kind of just hooked me up with this um, and, and took the cost of this off as well as the movie that he couldn't send. And that is 1917. This is really cool. All the numbers are um, debossed on the front, on the back. It's just a flat matte finish. Um, but I really uh, want to check this movie out again on 4K. Have the standard release. I'll be selling that, like I said, eventually. A lot of this I have on 4K, but I'll be selling um, to recoup some of the cost. Like I said, I spent quite a bit of money, but was pretty happy. Um, I'm saving these two titles because they were wishlist titles for me. Uh, this is the movie he threw in. This movie was initially on my list of stuff I was interested in. And he told me there was a dent on it, which is on the back. Um, but as you guys saw in the note, he just threw it in as a thank you, which is awesome. And that is Alita Battle Angel. And I'll take this out of the bag for a second to show you guys what... Uh, so if you guys look, yeah, it shows up pretty good. So it's a pretty good healthy dent on there. So I passed on that, but Jacob being the awesome guy he was, threw it in for me. Um, and this is the 4K 3D Blu-ray, um, Blu-ray with the actual uh, bonus cards, not the actual, but the bonus cards. So, but I love the artwork of that. The artwork's fantastic. So, Alita Battle Angel, thank you, Jacob, for throwing that in. That is awesome. And then last but not least, guys, we got the two wish list titles, the, the things I, were most, I was most excited about. So, as you guys know, you've seen me do videos about um, these Disney Steelbooks. Um, obviously, I have purchased quite a few of the Disney and Marvel Steelbooks. Sorry for shaking that. Um... And the second wave, which featured Up, which I got off of Mercari a little while ago, uh, A Bug's Life Inside Out, I believe was in the second wave, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. And then these two titles were in the second wave, and there never was a price break. The prices skyrocketed on eBay. They, they aren't even available in most stores anymore, so I think they made a shorter run based on the overproduction of the first round. And uh, when he had these, I knew if I wasn't buying anything else, I was buying these two. Uh, and I'll show them to you at the same time. And you guys probably figure out what they are. They are the Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University 4K Steelbooks. I love these films. I love the artwork on these films. Um, I like the colors. So... I own the Monsters Inc. films on 4K now. I had owned Inc. on 4K without a slipcover, but now I own both on 4K in Steelbook. And that's the haul, guys. That's, that's it. Like I said, spent quite a bit of money. I've been waiting to show these off in a video so I can pull the old versions off my shelf and display all the new ones um, on my shelf. So we're going to do an elevator here so chicken little once upon a time i'm sorry once upon a deadpool um both blu-rays everything else 4k there's the stack i don't even want to hold it too long because i'm afraid i'm going to drop something lots of upgrades from 4k to 4k steelbook which i normally don't do but when to help out a fellow collector Plus one to bulk up the Steelbook collection a little more, even though I have a ton of them. So thank you to Jacob and thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It'll be much appreciated. Also subscribe if you guys don't do so already. Hit the bell notification so you guys are aware when new videos are dropping. Also be sure to go to the... Hi. Go to the description box down below where you can find links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter eBay page, Blu-ray.com profile, letterbox where I rate and review all the movies I watch, Amazon wishlist, email address, P.O. box can all be found down below. And that is it. So as always, until next time, who's down to movie?